right? I mean, just as an example, take a look at what happened in the United States with Scott Ritter, right? That just recently got his house raided. Now, the cause of this, uh, Tony, uh, Tommy Robertson, thank you, Nicholas, thank you. My names are going in and out, right? But Scott Ritter, his house got raided last night or the night before, right? And most people are, I haven't read the indictment against them and stuff like this. Uh, and Stalmer, Elder God saying Stalmer on Westminster or Davos, exactly, right? So this, what happened with Scott Ritter, from what I understand, is because he was acting as a journalist, but he was going to Russia trying to make sure. Now, this is you got to appreciate this. Scott Ritter is a weapons inspector. He worked all his life, most of his life, professional life, trying to prevent a nuclear war, right? He was the one that was preventing, speaking out. He was a weapons inspector in Iraq before the Iraq war. He found out that Western governments had already made plans to go into Iraq and invade Iraq and occupy Iraq and he spoke out against the invasion of Iraq telling the world that there are no weapons of mass destruction right and he got punished by the US government for that for years right now what's happened the last few years he's turned into a journalist he's saying this is extremely dangerous because a lot of weapons treaties and stuff some of them he had a part to play in it that were put into place between the United States and Russia to prevent the nuclear disaster nuclear war from happening all of those treaties have been removed all of them removed by the united states and russia has been reacting to the united states pulling out of all these treaties right all these treaties that are, that have prevented nuclear war so far so his training and his morals kicked in and said, I need to prevent this. So he started coming out harsh uh, against Israel and against the war, the NATO war, proxy war in Ukraine. And started writing a lot uh, about Russia, uh, contradicting what the mainstream corporate propagandists in the United States and the governments in the United States have been saying about Russia and Ukraine, saying that we need to make peace with Russia. And it was traveling to russia i went there twice i believe right traveled to russia the third time he was going back they prevented him they took his passport at the airport but supposedly they raided him because he said he's a journalist but he was as a journalist if you're doing journalistic work you need to get paid right so he wrote articles for rt and western world has designated rt russia today is the russian news agency centralized news agency funded in large part by the state of Russia, which is the same thing as CBC in Canada. CBC in Canada is the RT version of Canada, right? CBC in Canada would not exist if it wasn't getting, I think they got $600 million last year, or the two, or during the last three years, whatever it is, I think it's ridiculous. They're basically taking taxpayer money, Canadian government, and giving it to the CBC, right? That's the same thing as RT. BBC, same crap, right? So RT, BBC, CBC, state media, right? So United States raided, FBI raided Scott Ritter's office saying that he was taking money from a state so he didn't register as a... Uh, uh, I forget what it's called. Yeah, If you're working for a state promoting their ideology in the United States and many other countries, except they don't want it in Georgia. Uh, that's a different story, right? Uh, or it's the same story. You have to register with the government and Scott Reed didn't register, so he's, they raided his office, right? Now keep that, keep that in mind, right? Now consider APEC in the United States where they're actually buying politicians. They're they're giving money to people they want to run the uh, United States government and they're putting enough money in there to get them elected to run the United States of America. So United States of America completely, 80% of your representative, more of representatives in the United States of America are Zionist puppets, okay? They're working for Israel, right? Okay, they're working for Israel. But you don't see the FBI raiding 
all those politicians and all the media that is funded by APAC or Zionist or Israel or anything like this to say, hey, you're a foreign agent, the Foreign Agent Act. That's what uh, Scott Ritter didn't uh, register at, right? According to the Foreign Agent Act, you have to register. So then, so it's basically a witch hunt that they're going uh, after Scott Ritter to silence them. Why? Because it's all connected of what's going on.